folks, Paul Smith of Scootin' Full here today. I am not doing a riding vid today, I'm doing a quick rundown of what makes a CVT work. And we're gonna take off this cover and then we're gonna do a final gear drive oil change. This is my Honda PCX. It is a 150cc engine with a CVT transmission. The CVT transmission is inside this cover. In order to get this off, there are a total of, I believe, 10 bolts that need to come out. There's eight around around the edge of the cover, and then there's two here. This will vary depending on the CVT and depending on the motorbike in question. Uh, generally speaking, CVTs are found on scooters. Honda calls it an automatic transmission, and I guess you could call it that, but there is only one gear with CVTs on a motorcycle. So let's get into it. We'll get the case off and we'll show you how that works. And then we'll do the final drive oil change. People often ask me what a CVT is. CVT is continuously variable transmission. This is the inside of a motorcycle CVT on a 150cc scooter, specifically the Honda PCX150. You have a drive pulley and then you have a driven pulley. The forward pulley takes power directly from the engine. In this case, there is a transmission on the engine, but it only has one gear. That transmission directs power directly from the drivetrain to this part of the drivetrain, which is, again, behind here is a variator, and this is the variator faceplate or drive faceplate. Your driven pulley is back here, and when this one spins up, that pulley spins in conjunction and this belt changes ratios on the fly depending on how much power is needed how much power is given through the throttle it's all very simple your rpms just rise as you go faster there's no gear ratios the same way as there would be in a automatic or standard transmission okay so here is the cvt in operation you can see the belt moving around between the two the drive pulley is engaging a little bit on the driven pulley and when the throttle is twisted slightly very gently gently <laughs> it transfers power to the wheels my assistant is very helpful and that's how a cvt works it's very simple very easy and that's all it is. In a car, CVT is going to be a little different because you're going to have, underneath all of this, you're going to have a valve body, which handles pressure from oils. This is an air-cooled CVT. A liquid CVT is cooled and pressures are handled by a uh, valve body in the bottom, which allows it to simulate the shifting of gears, even though there's no real gears actually being shifted. So there you go, uh, CVT 101 not very complicated not very difficult okay we're gonna do the final gear oil relatively easy item here there are two bolts and they both take size 12 here i'm gonna first undo the top bolt i love my t-handle Great as a breaker bar. This is a Craftsman T handle I got years ago, back when Sears was still a thing. Wow, oh, that's quite dark. So that was over full from the factory. That's fantastic. The Honda manual says to use 1030. I'm using a 1040. Should be fine. That's what I have on hand. Do as I say, not as I do, I guess. And got just a, a baster, to be honest. It's a uh, it's an injector for chickens and turkeys and other such things as that. And it'll work just fine. It'll get the job done. It only needs 17 foot-pounds, so you don't need a whole lot. Make sure you get your... baster in far enough there so that it... I mean, 
in this case, because I don't have the perfect tool for the job, I used to have a slightly better tool. This will work. Now, the way this was filled up prior was you're only supposed to have it filled to the base of the hole. Put the bolt back in place. Still have some bearing noise there that's coming from the secondary pulley. Nothing really I can do about that at this point. Need to replace that secondary pulley again. But it is what it is. So there we go. Not only did you see how a CBT works, but we also did a quick final gear oil change. Not very much to that.